Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do landmark registration on 3D Slicer that you can download from the slicer.org website. Um, so the, the first thing uh, to do is to load some data and choose for example a uh, gray stack that I want to map on the LGP Nuke 2P reference brain. Um, I load the data and they will display soon here so we can adjust the contrast by click and drag uh, or move with the middle button um, and the action we want to perform is a registration and landmark registration one as a fixed volume the reference brain and as a moving the gray stack so here we have a free panel view where we can adjust the contrast individually uh, uh, on the, the runs. So we are going to add uh, landmarks, for example, uh, in a region that is easy to, to see uh, in all, all the brains. So we can see, for example, these two commissures, uh, and we place a landmark here. And uh, so it's completely out of range, uh, which is uh, normal because it's the first landmark. Uh, and now you, you can see here a mixed view and it does nothing because we didn't choose the registration type so we are going to do a, a nothing, simple affine registration with a rigid and we, we can change this layer later um, and here if you see uh, I move the landmark and it moves uh, the, the output so we can adjust the, the contrast in the output and pass from one to the other. So here the contrast is too gray. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And here the contrast uh, is good. So I continue by adding some more landmarks. I can click uh, wherever I want. So here it looks like it's the quite the same point. Uh, but in the Abenula region. So keep going and when you adjust a second, uh, a second landmark you see here that the, the brain, the gray stack is rotating. So you continue to, to add landmarks for example here uh, it's easy, easy to find. Make sure on the, the free views that it corresponds well. You can adjust the contrast at any time, you can zoom in, pan um, and once you're okay with the results, so you can check it by a rock, for example, which allows to to move smoothly from one to the other. And you see, okay, here it moves again a little bit. So I'm going to adjust uh, this this part. So this corresponds to this uh, region. Where is it? Okay. So this is fine. Where is the equivalent region here? I have to adjust the contrast to see it well. Okay, so maybe I'm not deep enough. I go deeper. And once it looks like this, it starts being the, the same place. Then I'm going to do uh, another one for the symmetric, uh, not necessarily on the, the same slice, but here. Uh, here it's a bit too, too much. Yeah, I can see uh, mo moving uh, a landmark changed less the, the output results. Okay, so let's say I'm I'm okay with the results. I can manually uh, drag to see. I can flicker between two positions. Uh, so I want to export uh, the the, the the output results to see, for example, with Imagey uh, if it's okay. So I go to Regression and resample. So I want to warp the gray stack on the LGP Nuke uh, 2P, and uh, I have to set an output uh, image. For example, I give it a name uh, uh, gray stack uh, uh, reformatted. Um, and I have to choose the pixel type. So in input, I have uh, uh, unsigned ints, so I, I can keep unsigned ints uh, for the output. And I have to choose a transform file, which is uh, the only transform file available here, but you can also load a transform file. And once these parameters are complete, I click apply. 
and see here uh, if the status is running. If there is an error, it, it will be said here and you can show the, the detail of the er error. Okay, so now it's finished. You can see it, uh, it was uh, a bit longer than expected, but uh, it finished. And to export this, you have to click save and to check what you want to export. So here I don't need the, the scene, which is just a, uh, a way to find back the, the same scene in a 3D slicer. I don't want to have this because I already have. They are in this folder. I want to export a transform file. Uh, and I want to export, uh, I don't want to keep the landmarks, but you can uh, uh, keep it and reload it uh, after. Um, and I export the reformatted. I output this uh, in, for example, uh, documents, save, and this will take 20 seconds to export the files. And now I can uh, open it uh, for example, the gray stack uh, reformatted, I can open it in image J. Okay, so here it's open. I can adjust the contrast in image J. Oops, sorry. By clicking auto. Um, and I also, I can also open the my reference brain, which is stored, for example, here. Open both in image J. Image, color, match channel. And I can see that the mapping is not <laughs> not that bad, <laughs> but uh, I, but I, I could do better by adding more landmarks. But um, this is a, a result with only a few landmarks, 